So I've literally tried filming this video so many times now, but I'm just going through a crisis with like my YouTube channel. I've put out a survey and I've asked people what they wanna see in my videos going forward. And a lot of people talked about how they are kind of leaning towards videos that feature a little bit more lifestyle, features a little bit more activities that the booktubers are doing to keep them interested and engaged in the video. And I completely understand that because when I'm editing my videos, I too get a little bit bored about how I'm just physically sitting there and talking to you guys about books. Not to say that there's anything wrong with doing that, I felt like that that's like the main staple of videos out there on booktube but I also understand like why people want to see more incorporations of like the booktubers life so that they're more you know captivated to the video so this is going to be one of those videos where I'm going to be vlogging throughout my day but also talking to you guys about the books that I've read recently and the books that I am reading currently right now so right now it's currently the work day um, I have a couple of things I have to do before I head into a a couple of meetings in the afternoon but essentially I also came here to talk to you guys about how I fell in love with a subgenre of romance that I typically do not read mostly because it extends my belief a lot and I just never really understood like the appeal of reading this subgenre of romance and so I've discovered Harpy Alexander or Harpy Alex and she writes novellas featuring like heavy fantasy romance featuring heroes that are not human and I absolutely adore all her novellas that I've read so far. I'm making my way through her backlist, I'm reading all her books, they're so emotional, they're so good like they all have backstories to it because normally often like novellas don't really have that substance that we want but are found only in books but harpy does like such a great job at creating a backstory for a female heroine that i actually give a shit about and i just eat it all up and it's just so fantastic i'm gonna put the pictures of the books that i've read here that i really enjoyed and i think that you guys should check it out immediately they're like under 100 pages you can literally finish them in under an hour and like it's just so fabulous please read it i talked to brie about it from in love and words you know brie everybody probably already goes there for her you know this romance wreck but i've tried convincing her to read it i don't think she has read it yet because she is extremely busy obviously and also because book recommendations while they are so super helpful and super good i also understand that it can get very overwhelming at times when there's too many book recommendations but hopefully she reads it soon and hopefully you guys can read it soon so that we could both fangirl about harpy alex <laughs> So I just finished my workout and I'm still in the middle of watching my episode of Backstreet Rookie. So Backstreet Rookie is essentially about a convenience store owner hiring a part-time girl and then they both have this like past and she is head over heels in love with our hero but then he is just like you're too much for me you're too young you're too crazy I don't want anything to do with you plus I have a girlfriend so it's about her trying to win him over but I also think this is like a love triangle situation where an other character will get introduced and then that's where the story will unfold and that's where we can see our hero kind of take it up a step and try to win her over once he falls in love with her because right now in the show he's not in love with her yet. What are these angles that we have right now? I'm just too lazy to set up a tripod for these vlogs. I'm sorry but I don't have enough energy in me right now to go set up a tripod, do aesthetic shots, and make you guys feel cozy. I'm here to bring you content and the content I have is that I have five packages that I want to open on camera with you guys right now because I just want to see what I got. I open my packages when I'm sad. I'm not really that sad right now. It's a Monday. It's depressing, but it's not sad yet. So I still want to open them because I still have a whole week ahead and I just want to get the garbage out of my room. Here's some ASMR. <laughs> So the first book that we have here is this one from Eve, from Eva Devon called Much Ado About Dukes. And guess what? This is a duplicate copy. I already have a copy of it downstairs. So I will be reaching out to my local Indigo and returning that book whenever I have a chance. Another one. Another one. 
We have the latest one from Denise Williams called Do You Take This Man? And she wrote this book called The Fastest Way to Fall. I read that one last year. I fell in love with her writing. Honestly, her writing is just so smooth. It's so, I don't know how to say it. Like it just, it's just beautiful. Like she just writes really well and her stories are interesting and they make me want to read more of her books. And therefore I have this one. Super excited to read it. We have the latest one from Sarah Ishavar Smith. I don't know how to say her last name. So this is like Sarah Smith, but I think Sarah Smith got like married and then she has like a hyphenated name now or just like a continuation of her last name. This one's called The Boy with the Bookstore. So me and Sarah Smith don't really have that great of a relationship. I don't really like her books that much, but I still buy it because I still want to give it a try. And I just feel like maybe if I read more of her books, I'll one day fall in love with her writing. And then this book is about a boy in a bookstore. So how could I not like it? And then also I think she's a baker. So I'm excited for it. We got this one called The Decoy Girlfriend by Lily Val, and she wrote this book called The Shoddy Setup. I read that one last year. I surprisingly really liked the romantic comedy aspect of it. I was really debating whether or not I wanted to pick up this book because this book does feature a celeb romance, and I don't really like celeb romances, but what can I say? I have to support my people of color authors, especially she is since a South Asian romance author that I don't really see that often. And publishing. And then here's the last package. I knew this would happen. I saw the email come in. I just knew I had another duplicate copy of Do You Take This Man by Denise Williams. So I'll be seeing my local chapters in go sometime soon because I gotta get back my money. Okay so that was just like my quick little book haul what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna go and take a shower wash off my makeup that has been caked on my face for the last six seven hours um i'm gonna work on some stuff and then try to log off as early as possible and in the time that i'm using to do my reports i can actually listen to an audiobook because it doesn't take too much of my focus like i can't listen to audiobooks obviously if i'm writing a report but I can listen to audiobooks when I'm in the process of completing one. And right now I'm reading Counterfeit by, I want to say Kristen Chen. But I might have like messed up her name. Obviously the cover of the book is right here. So you guys know if I messed up her, her name. But essentially it is a Chinese American mystery crime novel. But it's not really mystery. It's, it's a mystery because we know that our heroine is captured by the police and she's under investigation but we work backwards from chapter one to see how she got to the place that she is in right now which is jail and basically her crime is that she buys really expensive luxury bags and then she returns it to the store i think and then she gets back like all the money for it even though the bags that she's returning are counterfeit bags and then that's how she profits off of like this whole bag business thing i don't know it's like really it's, it takes more to explain but essentially there's this crime where you buy a luxury bag you take that luxury bag and you sell it in a different market and then you go back to the store and you return it with a fake counterfeit bag so that you can make two profits off of it essentially and lots of people did this and one one person actually did this in america and then she actually ended up being sent back to the philippines because of this like felony that she committed and then she like did this to i think like louis vuitton and she stole over like maybe like five hundred thousand dollars or something like that it was insane so this is probably based on that real incident that happened in real life um, I'm enjoying it so far. I really like the Chinese American representation. I really like the Chinese representation because it talks about parts of China that I'm not really familiar with, but I've heard the names before. So it's really interesting to see and you guys know me. I love my representation of Chinese Americans in my books. So I will let you guys know if I like it or not. The rating right now on Goodreads is not that high. It's like a 3.5 with 20,000 ratings. And it's just like, mm, why is it so low? I don't know. I'm expecting to have it blow up in my face towards the end. But you guys will find out if I manage to finish that book in this walk. So I decided that I will not be working late today because I just... I just... I just want to watch myself burn. I just want to, I just want to work 
longer hours tomorrow and not today. I don't know why. I just don't have it in me today to go work longer hours. So I will be here updating you guys on my audiobook or possibly more novellas I'm going to read from Harpy Alexa. And I'm going to finish the Boogeyman one today. I'm going to try because it's almost the end of the month and I want to get as many books read as possible this month. So right now it is currently 11.45 p.m. My alarm clock is probably going to be set for around 6 a.m. because I'm going to try to catch the earlier train to work because I want to get into the office by essentially like 7.30 in the morning. And I'm just going to quickly do a really basic skincare routine for you guys because honestly, I normally don't do skincare anymore because I just stopped caring as much but since I need to do something while I'm talking about books to you guys I figured that I'm just gonna do skincare so I'm starting off with toner it's Misha time revolution toner it's good I think anyways so I want to go to the office by 7 30 in the morning tomorrow because it beats the morning rush in the station that I get off at and it means that I can grab a coffee at the coffee shop without waiting in line forever and I can have a peace of quiet like you know I can have a peace of mind when I'm at the office by myself and I don't have to say good morning to everybody and I could just kind of like work peacefully by myself get myself sorted and then like get everything done before everybody starts trickling into the office so that's gonna be good I think that's what my plan is it's only Tuesday I still have a lot of things that I need to take care of for work and there's just a lot more things to do next i'm using the time evolution the first treatment essence and this is supposed to be like the dupe of sk2 um i did do a skincare video already like a couple videos ago like maybe like in the beginning of this year and i don't know it was fun so i just wanted to talk about one of the books that i finished reading for this reading vlog which is counterfeit by kristen chen and i really enjoyed it i really liked how it dove deeper into counterfeit bags and how it's essentially made and how it's impacting a lot of people and how it impacts the economy and things like that i just thought it was like super interesting when we got into like the nitty-gritty parts especially when our main heroine started to feel really bad about the things that she was doing i also i never got into like luxury brands like i've started paying more closely attention to it just because like my friends started paying more closely to it and if i'm going to be that type of person that kind of like you know invests in brand name items so it's a very interesting novel because i'm getting into that phase of thinking about luxury items i did recently get a prada wallet that was fun but honestly, I felt very guilty for it after I bought it because I was just like, there's more, like the wallet's worth more money than the money that I actually have in the wallet. So like, what's the point, you know? Like, but we gotta start somewhere. We gotta start somewhere. We gotta feel good about ourselves. So that was just another time revolution ampoule. Um, I guess it's supposed to help me with aging and hopefully I don't age as fast as I want to. Right now I'm gonna be using the Fresh Deep Hydration face cream the rose one and I'm just gonna put it on my face so my face isn't dry tomorrow when I'm wearing foundation all day I'm just keeping my skincare routine really light because I don't like putting too much on my face especially when it's the summertime and there's just like a lot of things happening on my skin so just sweat because it's really hot outside okay and if you guys see like 
dark bags underneath my eyes. I swear to you, it's not because I'm like sleep deprived. I am sleep deprived. I am tired. But this is just probably leftover mascara that I didn't wash off properly because I'm just so freaking lazy too. As you can tell, I'm not a beauty YouTuber. I am clearly just trying to get by in life. Well, anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying these types of videos and you're enjoying me seeing do more things that are outside my comfort zone, putting myself out there, you know, making myself look a little bit different than I usually present myself. Hopefully you guys are liking see a little snippet of my life. Oh, by the way, like the reason why it's 11.30 p.m. and I haven't updated you guys is because I finished Counterfeit, the audiobook, and then I immediately dove back into Backstreet Rookie, which is like so freaking funny. It's so hilarious. I love the show so much right now. It's exactly the comfort show that I need after I finished the Extraordinary Attorney Woo. If you guys haven't watched that yet too, definitely go check it out. If you guys like K-dramas, watch Extraordinary Attorney Woo, which is essentially about a lawyer who is on the spectrum and she works through each case every single episode. And then this Backstreet Rookie is for people who are just in for really zany comedic effects and really just a drama that's just poking fun at the romance genre and it's so fun it's so hilarious it's everything that i ever wanted to be but that is it for my reading vlog i still haven't finished harpy alexa's boogeyman book yet and i'm not probably gonna finish it tonight before i go to sleep and then i will update you guys on goodreads if you guys haven't checked me out yet go follow me on goodreads go follow me on instagram go follow me everywhere and you guys can get live updates of what i read okay i'll see you guys again next time in a new video goodbye